breaking news in Bradley County where deputies are investigating two deaths at a home in McDonald. Brittany Nicholson has been on the scene all night long and joins us now live on the scene with the very latest. Brittany. Josh, Kim, right now investigators are still on the scene more than four hours after they were called out here. We were at one point there were more than a dozen cop cars here and right now I think they're actually opening up the road to where residents are finally able to get back down the road into their residence. Sheriff Eric Watson tells us two bodies were found in a home just down the road here. He says one was a woman and the other was a man. We've just learned those bodies were sent off um, for autopsies. Now when we first got out here tonight we heard someone screaming and crying. They were very upset. It was visibly upset. Neighbors tell us the house they're searching is vacant and uh, public information officer Ed Ramsey says they've just learned that that house is actually a relative, belonged to a relative of one of the victims. Sheriff Watson says a neighbor who knew the man and woman found them and called police just after six tonight. Watson says they aren't ruling out homicide, but it could be a murder suicide. Here's what he had to say about what they'll be doing overnight. We'll be processing the crime scene. The medical examiner has already arrived. Of course, he can't really do anything until our guys finish their job. And we try to figure out and find out what really happened here in that. And it will take many hours to do that. Now coming up in just a few minutes, we'll hear from a neighbor who tells us what it was like just moments after police arrived on the scene here. Josh Kim, back to you. Brittany, thank you. We'll have more with Brittany later in the show. That's right. You can depend on us to keep you updated throughout the evening on our website, newschannel9.com.